Have you ever wondered why some years the oak trees will produce just vast quantities of acorns while other years will be less acorn production? I've got a really cool reason as to why they do it. So let's talk about it. Acorns, of course, are oak trees way of reproducing. So these are the seeds they produce so that there can be more oak trees for the future. However, if you have grown oak trees on your property, you know that sometimes they just throw out so many acorns that you almost can't even walk under the trees because they just literally cover the ground. In fact, I've had customers tell me that they were even considering getting rid of their valuable trees because of the sheer amount of acorns that they drop on certain years. But why is it that some years there are just so many compared to other years? So those are called mast years. Whenever the tree decides to produce a whole lot more acorns versus other years and mast years are very fascinating and people don't know exactly why it happens but there are some really good theories i'm going to tell you about my favorite personal theory so the oak tree needs to produce acorns in order to continue the species but the acorns are also a valuable source of food for many types of wildlife such as squirrels and geese and deer and hogs and even bears will eat acorns so because there are so many species that rely on this food source out in forests, you will see that the wildlife populations will increase wherever there are oak trees. So for example, in an oak grove, you will see that the squirrels will continue to reproduce until they end up eating all of the acorns that that tree produces. And whenever the local wildlife ends up eating every single one of the acorns off of the trees, that tree can no longer reproduce. So the trees got smart and what they do is they will artificially lower the amount of acorns that they produce for a couple of years. It may be two, three, or even four years that they produce a lower amount of acorns in order to keep the population of the wildlife lower. And then once the wildlife population is somewhat in check, the trees will have a mast year. And that mast year is whenever they just produce that large, huge, vast quantity of acorns. And they do it in order to overwhelm the amount of wildlife. So they will produce so many acorns that the wildlife can't possibly eat all of them. And then there will be some seeds left for those trees to continue on as a species. And it's really quite a clever trick that the trees do because they somehow communicate it with all of the other trees in the area. And they all do their mast years on the same year. So next time, before you get annoyed by a mast year in your yard, remember that this is a very important thing for the continuation of that species.